Melbourne's New Year's Eve celebrations are shaping as the biggest in the city's history with ideal weather conditions tipped to lure a record crowd. The centrepiece will be the traditional fireworks spectacular which can be viewed from more vantage points than ever before. Kate Osborne has the details. In a dusty tent in a remote part of Docklands, pyrotechnicians are racing the clock, preparing for Tuesday night's fireworks extravaganza. You were tying together 22 sites, one soundtrack. Um, doesn't matter where you turn your head, you'll see a spectacular show. This configuration of fireworks will be placed on 16 skyscraper rooftops. Pyrotechnicians have been working for nine months to develop new elements that will keep the show fresh and engaging. There's a fantastic gold. Uh, twinkling section which I think everybody will be pretty impressed with. There'll be plenty of oohs and ahs um, and there's also a great rainbow uh, chasing sequence across the city buildings. Last year public safety concerns prompted a change in format and saw people spread across three live sites at Docklands, Flagstaff Gardens and Treasury Gardens. It proved such a success a fourth site, King's Domain, has been added this year to further disperse the crowds and a massive crowd is expected. With a mild night, not too hot, not raining, uh, we could well see a crowd in excess of 550,000, perhaps the biggest crowd ever to assemble in the city of Melbourne. Public transport will be free from 6pm, but delays are inevitable. With such a huge crowd, if everyone shows a little bit of patience and a whole lot of courtesy, we'll enjoy ourselves, we'll get home safely. For those not willing to brave the crush, the fireworks will be broadcast on 7. Kate Osborne, 7 News.